So this is Beta Palafina, male in the front, female in the back. They're doing some spawning behavior. You can see he's got this gorgeous metallic sides. That is a subdominant male top right. And what he's trying to do is tell him to basically buzz off. <laughs> so he, every once in a while, gets distracted from his female and tells that guy to leave while he courts this female down here. And his colors just keep getting more and more vibrant as they go along. So here you can see she flares a little bit. Um, they both do kind of this cool head shake thing. Let's see. Flaring, head shaking. They might move away from the camera. So they're flaring. There, that's the head shake. They're very, very interested in one another. And look at that beautiful metallic on this male. Females have very little metallic. Males, when they're not in breeding condition, have it mainly on their cheeks, but this guy has it all over his body. Let's see if we'll do some more. Just introduce the female to this tank. I will admit, I thought that the subdominant male was a female when I set this tank up. So it is very, very difficult to tell subdominant males from right females. They look extremely similar. You can see on the female, she has a little bit of metallic right under her eye. And yeah, they are very easy to um, mix up, let's say. So male, males get this like weird dark eye when they're courting females. You can see his eye is like black. We'll see what happens here. She doesn't look super full of eggs, but it would be really nice to get a clutch out of these guys. Yeah, beautiful metallic on the male here. Good friend. My bird is sitting on my shoulder watching all of this. <laughs> Okay, circling, that's a good sign. Interesting, going into the tunnel. Good sign that she's following him. There's the flare and shake, head shaking. Here they go, coming out the other side. Let's see if we catch any spawning action here. They've been doing this for a while and I haven't seen a solid wrap yet. These guys tend to have a really long kind of protracted courtship. They seem to like to bond with one another before they court. Part of that bonding is telling the other male to leave. <laughs> so I might have to move him tomorrow to another tank. Give them the tank to themselves. I 
but they're being just very, very coy with one another. A lot of this um, dark eyes, shaking of the head, flaring, kind of slow circling of one another. Yeah, I'm not sure when they'll spawn. They're doing a lot of this kind of coy chasing around the tank. There's the other male. Yeah, I might have to take him out because he is definitely dampening their mood. All right, I'm going to take him out right now, actually. So this is another pair of Beta Palafina. And they're showing a uh, typical courtship behavior. I just introduced the male into this tank. You can tell I neglected this tank pretty bad. There's no way around it. <laughs> just uh, just got way behind on water changes. But you know, it is what it is. Oh no, break me. Anyway, you can see the really well here. The darkening of the eyes, how large the pupils get, and the flaring, kind of the circling, see that half flare there on the female. Female is the one closest to the camera, male is in the back. A lot of the times when one breathes at the surface, the other one follows. Another thing is um, they will follow each other. They kind of mirror one another. So remember, this is the same subdominant male that was in the other tank with the other beautiful metallic male. He definitely doesn't have quite as much metallic coverage, but he's still a pretty good looking fish. Use all the squeaking. That's my bird sitting on my shoulder while I'm doing all this. Anyway, they'll do this kind of circling type of courtship for a long time. There's another female in this tank. In fact, if we back up, she was on this side. She's kind of been ostracized. Oh, actually, there we go. The dominant female is telling her to buzz off. Okay, I might have to relocate her. The male just kind of follows her move. They're kind of watching me too. They're not 100% happy that I'm filming them. So anyway, this will continue for a while. I'll see if I can catch them spawning again. <laughs> 